Welcome to another Figma tutorial where we are going to create a responsive nav bar using Figma and we will be using auto layout. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how you can use auto layout to create a responsive navigation bar in Figma. Now let's get started and create this responsive nav bar. Uh, press T uh, to create a text and we are going to type home. Let's replicate this by uh, holding alt key and let's use command D to have another copy and we are going to name it about let's call this one contact and let's select all of these and we are going to have a distribute horizontal spacing between them just to make sure the spacing is accurate so right now it's 19 we have to increase it let's use 46 and 46 sub uh, between these okay now we are going to select all of them and we're going to add an auto layout shift a so first we created three text layers simple text layers and we have created a frame around them so here we have the frame just to control these items uh, right now the frame direction is in the horizontal direction so if we try to add you can see if we open up this frame and try to add something new uh, command D so you can see it is going to add in the horizontal direction. So this is the right direction Okay, so here we have let's call it links uh, Let's hide this nav bar right now the bottom one uh, Okay, so here we have this one and uh, Next step is that we are going to create our buttons. So again, we are going to press T This is going to be our button. Let's call it login and uh, we are going to add an auto layout to this one shift a auto layout added so we are going to add a fill color of this button to this button let's use this green uh, or maybe this blue uh, the text color will be white so here we have the button ready and uh, let's add some padding over here of eight and from here we are going to use different padding on all sides so for a button we are going to use 8 at the top, 16 over here, uh, 16 on the right and 8 at the bottom. So this is going to be our button. Okay, so this let's call it uh, BTN, uh, let's call it BTN, keep it BTN and we are going to replicate it by holding our Alt key, Alt option key and we are going to separate them 16 pixels so you can see press or hold alt option key to see the spacing and we are going to call it sign up now you can see it is expanding on its own because we have set the resizing to hug content so whenever the contents are going to expand the overall container it is going to hug the content by keeping the space we have specified so you can see if we click on the button we have 10 spacing uh, sorry, 10 is the spacing between two, two items. This is the uh, uh, margins or paddings we have applied. So it is going to always keep these. So let's click this one and we are going to, um, let's use some other color, maybe orange for sign up. Let's use orange. Okay, so we have two buttons now and this is also, so we have actually three auto layouts. One is links two are buttons one button second button so we are going to select all of them and again we are going to sh con press shift a and you can see we have this um, auto layout frame so this is going to be our nav bar and uh, before that i think we need to have another frame for the buttons this is actually command z okay so let's uh, align these buttons first so shift a to have an auto layout for these uh, buttons and we are going to call them buttons because we have to arrange the layout of both buttons too. So if we want to control the spacing between two buttons, now we can do that over here. So let's use 12 over here right now. And so now we have buttons, both buttons into another uh, auto layout frame. And now what we are going to do is we are going to select all of these you can see on the left, this is very important. We have buttons, then again, inside the buttons, we have two different button auto layouts. And then in the links, we have three text layers. Now we are going to select all of them, Shift A, and you can see we have this 
nav bar, almost nav bar that is completed. Now you can see our text is moving up. So whenever we create something like this, uh, sometimes it happens that our text moves up. Uh, and you can see this is the spacing between items. So if I try to reduce it, you can see it is going to get closer to the text we have over here. Okay, so to fix that, uh, you can see I have selected this nav bar. This is very important and I am going to go in the middle like this. So this is the alignment option. So if I uh, use this, you can see the text is aligned at the top and uh, bottom and you can see it, it stays at the bottom. And so we are going to select this. So it is going to be at the left and uh, in the middle. Okay, so uh, now we are going to add a fill color to this nav bar, which is going to be white. Let's use white. And um, uh, from here, we are going to use eight pixels radius. And over here, we are going to use some padding. So at the top, let's use 16. At the bottom, let's use 16. Let's add 24 at the right and 24 at the left. So now you can see we have our app uh, nav bar ready. So we have applied all the paddings around it. Uh, by using this panel over here. Okay, so now if we, you can see if we try to expand it, it, it is not expanding, the content is um, not expanding, it is not responsive. Uh, because you can see over here that this spacing is set to custom. So right now uh, we have to fix that. So to do that, uh, we have to go over here and we are going to shift to uh, let's go back where were our original settings and right now you can see I have selected nav bar and we are going to go to space between. So what it is doing is it you can see now this uh, space between items is actually set to auto. So it is automatically adjusting the space whenever I try to drag or make the nav bar larger or smaller. So this is the trick behind this responsiveness. So you can see now if I try to drag something like this, you can see now it is fully responsive. So this is the last step. Now you can see our responsive navbar is almost complete. Now if we want to add something over here, for example, I want to add uh, notifications. So let's call it notifications over here or maybe some messages. Okay, so if I want to or drag something over here on the top, for example, I have a small red dot um, for notifications for example this one and if I try to drag and place it over here you can see it is showing me that it is going to be dropped inside this auto layout so it is adopting automatically the auto layout so if I try to drop it like this it is going to be over here uh, if you don't want it to uh, uh, or you want to escape this behavior you have to hold your space bar and just drag and drop it like this. And it is going to be uh, like this over here. Let's try to make it a bit dull. So here we have the messages and you can move it like this. So this is how you create a responsive navigation bar in Figma. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video uh, and make sure you watch the next video too. So till then we will meet in another video with another Figma trick and tutorial. Take care and bye bye.